It's starting to happen. We now have a disturbance here in the Atlantic that now has a moderate chance of forming in the next five days. Nonetheless, we have four total disturbances in the Atlantic. Uh, one of which is of note, I would say two, but right now the National Hurricane Center is only giving a moderate chance to one, which has been named Invest 92L. So, in the central tropical Atlantic, shower activity associated with an elongated area of low pressure over the central tropical Atlantic Ocean has become a little better organized since yesterday. Environmental conditions are forecast to be generally favorable for additional gradual development over the next several days, and a tropical depression could form by the middle of next week as it moves west-northwestward at 10 to 15 miles per hour towards the waters of the east area of the Leeward Islands. Formation chance through 48 hours is low at 20%, but formation chance through 5 days is medium at 50%. This is the storm system that we're going to be looking at today, as this could have impacts, especially going towards Florida. So, here is the storm on the current satellite view. You can see that it's not generally organized enough. That's why we're only at a 50% chance as of right now. But you can see that there's definitely signs of development there. A lot more thunderstorm activity in this region, especially right here. This kind of blew up. So, it is looking better in the Atlantic for this storm. So, we have two models here. We're going to start off with the GFS, which is a little bit more bearish on this storm as you can see here the storm is marching westward and really not picking up much steam kind of sticking around that 1010 millibar marker but eventually does start to kind of organize itself close to the bahamas here and drops all the way down into the low 1000s high 990s and even gets down into the 980s here 980 977 as it's passing by Bermuda over here. So just to the west of Bermuda, it starts to get its act together. But of course, that isn't in this general area. Now, the European model, which is a little bit more bullish on these types of storms, does have this maintaining some sort of strength here and eventually starting to get its act together a little bit earlier here as it passes the Windward Islands and moves towards the Bahamas and at this point it's in the low 970s but it is showing here at the very end of this model run that this storm does start to move back to the east which is a good sign here uh, which means that the European model is showing that the storm will not continue this track towards the east coast of the United States but rather kind of glance off the easternmost islands of the Bahamas and kind of start to make its way back out towards all the fish. So either way, uh, the GFS and the European model have this storm forming, but in 